This worship service in Iraqi Kurdistan is one example of the biblical revolution going on throughout the Middle East. These believers live in the predominantly Kurdish area of Iraq. Due to their culture and upbringing, they're often referred to as Muslim background believers. This church in Erbil, the capital of Kurdistan, called the Kurdsman Church, has been officially sanctioned by the government since 2004. The Kurdsman Church represents an historic breakthrough in church history. It's the first Kurdish church in 1400 years. This is the first time for the Kurdish people that they have a church. And sometimes when the non-believers are coming to the church, they see that we are worshiping and singing and shouting and uh, teaching in the Kurdish language, they will be surprised. Most of the believers in Iraqi Kurdistan are former Muslims. In Suleymaniyya, this entire group of worshippers are former Muslims, including their pastor, a former Muslim cleric. I was one of those before I came to believe the message that I should kill the others. Sometimes I wanted to kill my wife because she did not cover her hair. But when I found my life in Jesus, Matthew 5 tells me to love my enemies. Others throughout Iraqi Kurdistan have also been transformed. I'm very happy that Jesus came and knocked on the door of my heart, and that I got to know the real God in a real way of life. Before becoming a believer, I always felt there was something missing in my life, as if I had lost something. That feeling was constantly with me. Now, as I am a believer, that feeling is gone. I know that I have found what was missing in my life. I saw Jesus another time in my dream in 1999. He didn't leave me alone. He came to me again. He said, I love you and I want you to be saved. So how can believers around the world join in this spiritual revolution? Leaders here say the answer is prayer. The most important thing the leadership tells us here in the Middle East, and we shouldn't be surprised to this, is that as the prayer teams grow around the wor world for them, the, the work just takes off. The more that people pray for God's Spirit to rest on these young men and women to share the gospel, the more He just furthers the kingdom of God. And the message coming from these believers is the 2,000-year-old message of the gospel. I want to tell the world, accept the love of God. It will be today or in the future. They have to kneel to God. It's better to do it right now. Chris Mitchell, CBN News, Iraqi Kurdistan.